Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, best believe we had to hit this one up. This one comes to us from our man Ryan Up Church. And this is a vlog video he put out that is simply called Proud of Ours. Uh, now, depending on where you're looking at this from, uh, there's a US flag emoji on this. From my perspective, it says Proud of Ours, US period in all capital letters but anyway let's go ahead and get right into this without further ado can't wait to hear what, what our man has to say i know he, he released another vlog uh talking about the situation between him and uh what's the old girl's name uh nicole arbor i think that's her name and um i guess candace owens spoke out in favor of up church so yeah best believe we're gonna hit that up too uh, didn't have a chance to hit that one up because I've had a very busy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, hope you guys had a wonderful Mo Memorial Day weekend as well as I have. So, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this, y'all. Without further ado, like the hit here. Go. What is up, fellas? I hope y'all have had a proud Memorial Day. I say proud because saying happy Memorial Day is just... Uh... I don't know. It doesn't sound right to me. And I was riding around on my Harley today because... Which I can understand how he feels about that. You know what I mean? It does feel odd saying Happy Memorial Day. Because, you know, let's remember what that day is about. It's about, of course, you know, all of our fallen soldiers who gave everything. Everything that they had. You know what I mean? To fight for our rights and our freedoms. You know what I mean? So, uh... Yeah, rather than, I, I feel where he's coming from. Rather than saying happy, you know what I'm saying, I, I think it's more fitting to say proud. Just my opinion, you know what I mean? More than welcome to either agree and or disagree. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. I wanted to spend my day looking at the things that I get to enjoy as an American from what someone else sacrificed in their life. And I say that because... We live in a world now where people can't be thankful for more than fucking 30 minutes for something. Yo, that's facts, man. And yo, respect for my man, you know what I mean? To, you know, have that mindset of looking at the things that he's gotten, you know what I mean? All the things that he's worked hard for and have a great appreciation for what he has, you know what I mean? Because he realizes, hey, if it weren't for our men and women, you know what I mean? Who were brave enough, bold enough to put on that uniform and fight for our rights and our freedoms, we wouldn't be able to have the things that we have. You know what I mean? Respect, man. I, I respect that. Let's go. And for these people that laid their life down for this country, for us to be able to get out, for us to be able to ride these Harleys, drink these beers, be out on these boats, having this good-ass time, they had to do a lot of not happy shit over the years, and people died for some very not happy reasons for us to be able to do these things. That's why I say I hope y'all have had a proud Memorial Day. We're the ones who are happy. Yep. We're the ones who are smiling, cutting up with our friends. Yep. We're the ones that get to have all the enjoyment of this beautiful country. Yep. For us to be happy on this day, somebody had to be unhappy. Families had to be unhappy. That is true. So not only should we be thanking our troops, but we should be also thankful for the family of these men and women. You know what I mean? Because if it weren't for these families being supportive, you know what I mean, of our of our troops, you know, then who knows where this country would be right now. You know what I'm saying? I think that's something that a lot of us fail to realize. A lot of us fail to think about. You know what I mean? It's not just the troops. It's also these families, you know what I mean, that these troops were born into. So, you know, something to think about. You know what I mean? Let's go. Brothers, sisters had to be Oops. unhappy for us to be happy today. And there's going to be many in the future that have to be unhappy so we can stay happy. And that... My man here is spitting nothing but straight facts, man. So, shout out to... Shout out, much love, much respect for those who have served, those who are currently serving, and those who are, you know, just now getting into it. You know what I mean? Getting enlisted. You know what I mean? Yo... Mad love, mad respect. Let's go. Happy. And that makes me proud. I'm very proud to be a part of this country who's been through some crazy shit. Same here. I'm also very proud 
that I am the first generation in my family to be born into this great country of ours. Let's go. In our history, and I don't think the American soldier themselves in general gets the credibility they need. Motherfuckers over here is happy because they can go to a, a vending machine and click a button and get a fucking Mountain Dew. Uh -huh. Our guys are in the fucking middle of a desert with not shit to do. And hell, they get thirsty and go grab a water bottle when they grab it to motherfucking bust because it's been in a fucking crate forever. That's true. That is true. Those, those guys out there, they have it way rough, way harsh than we can ever imagine. You know what I mean? And God only knows what those guys um, what those guys and gals see out, out in the field. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. They're drinking plastic water. I mean, there's going to be some people in the comments that know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. Our military has big enough fucking balls that they go over here in fucking countries where everybody hates them. And they fight for us. And then when they're tired, and if they made it back, they get to come home. And then they go home here. And then have to see people bitching about the country that they just went and got in a fight for. And Facts. And that's, that's part of the problem with this country of ours. You know what I mean? You got these people who are bitching and complaining over not shit. When meanwhile, they don't realize, yo, we got men and women, you know what I mean? in uniform fighting for them fighting for us you know what i'm saying fighting for our rights fighting for our freedoms you know what i mean if it weren't for those men and women in uniform none of us would have a voice you know what i mean none of us would be able to exercise our first amendment right let's go no i've never been in the military but i've talked to a lot of military guys through music and i've learned a lot of shit about what our soldiers go through okay so y'all need to give them some fucking credibility. And look That's facts. And like I said, I have family members currently serving, you know what I mean? Who I have a lot of love, a lot of respect for, you know what I mean? And <clears throat> I'll never forget when I met that U.S. Air Force uh, soldier, you know what I mean? Back at that, that diner when I was coming home from Vegas and visiting a friend of mine. And um, I picked up the tab for his breakfast. Not only for his breakfast, my breakfast, you know what I mean? Because, like I told him, you know what I mean, dude, you didn't have to sign your name on that dotted line to, you know, fight for my rights and my freedoms. So the least I could do, you know, to show my appreciation, my respect, and my show of thanks, you know what I mean? Yo, let me, let me cover your breakfast. You know what I mean? Why not? Let's go. Listen, I've never been in the military, like I said, but if you don't fuck with this country, I don't fuck with you. If you don't fuck with our soldiers, I don't fuck with you. If you don't fuck with the American flag, then I don't fuck with you. Uh -huh. Simple as that. And the least that these boys can have when they come back over here is citizens who will talk shit with them and take up for them and back them up. Yep. One last thing. All y'all politicians out there that put our troops and these young men in situations that are not worth fucking dying for just because you want to be big dicking or, or it has to do with money. Y'all motherfuckers wouldn't last two fucking seconds in them boys' boots. Facts. Two. You wouldn't even last one. And then Facts. you got the other fucks. The ones out here protesting, ain't got no fucking where to be, don't feel like making nothing of yourself, so you go out and you tear all this other shit up, and you hold these fucking signs about how you hate this fucking country, and it's a piece of shit, da 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 da, -da. Which one of y'all motherfuckers got the balls to let me buy you a plane ticket to a third world country? Zero. Yo, that, and that's facts, man. And yo, props to Church, man, for, for making this blog and, sh and sharing his thoughts, his views, you know what I mean, on what's going on right now with our country, you know what I mean, and showing that pride for our country and showing that pride for our brave men and women in uniform, you know what I mean? Much respect, yo. You know I gotta do this, man, in real time. I'm gonna hook my man up with a like, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, my man, he spit nothing but straight facts in this vlog you know what i mean so like i said <clears throat> hope everyone had a wonderful more day weekend you know what i mean and i uh, hope everyone uh took uh took time to really appreciate the things that they have you know what i mean and the things that that you know we're all the things that we have and the things that we are able to do because of our men and women in uniform you know what i mean and again you know thank you to everybody who's either served 
know what I mean? And whether or not they're still with us doesn't matter. You know, thank thank everybody who served, who's currently serving, and who are just now getting in. You know what I mean? Much respect for having the balls, you know what I mean, to fight for our country. Even though you got a bunch of ungrateful people here who, as Church mentioned, think that our country is, is shit, you know what I mean? And really, they, they just, these miserable people have nothing better to do with their lives, you know what I mean? They got nothing, they, they're, they're, instead of taking time to try to make something out of themselves, they rather go out and complain and everything and shit. Well, like Church said, if you got a problem with the way this country is, why don't you put on a uniform? Hmm? Why don't you put on a, on a uniform and fight, stand up and fight? To help make this country a better place, you know, or if you don't like it here, then leave, you know, go, go somewhere else, leave the country, but you won't do that. Why? Because you don't know, you, you wouldn't know what to do with yourselves and you wouldn't know what, what you're, what you're able to do and what you're not able to do. Should you ever step out of this great country of ours? Do you think you can live a much happier and much more free life somewhere else? Leave leave but you won't why because your family's here your friends are here you could do more here you just don't want to admit it but anyways y'all much respect for church for this one i'm 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 definitely with this one 100 y'all are too i'll have the link for the original video in the description down below more than welcome to watch this on your own free time uninterrupted as you would like and uh excuse me and uh if you're with this reaction you know to do that thumbs up down below. You know to do that comment section down below. And if you're new here, uh, first off, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. And hopefully I did enough to earn your subscription so you can be a part of the Jason JV Ranger Squad family. Which, by the way, in case you missed my uh, vlog video for the origin of the Ranger Squad name, uh, please do me a favor and go check out that video. It's one of my recent videos. It should be titled Hashtag Ranger Squad uh, Name Origin and More. So, yeah. I'll just say as a little bit of a spoiler, the Ranger Squad name, it was named after a vet. But if you want the full details as to how that came about, like I said, go check out that video. We very much appreciate it. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, for, again guys, first off, thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. And hopefully I did enough to earn your subscription so you can be a part of Jason JV Ranger Squad family. We very much love to have you as part of the team. Yeah, you know I mean. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the description down below, including the two store links, such as the Teespring merch store link, if you're interested at all in getting, like, a shirt, or uh, check out what other, you know, apparel I may have uh, in the Teespring merch store link. Um, there's also a discount code with that link to help save you 10% off on your purchases. And um, also, don't forget to check out, of course, the Kula Hawaii link, um, if you're interested at all in some CBD products, if you're in need of, some, of something some CBD uh, based products cool Hawaii got you covered got a, a discount code for that link as well that will help save you 25% off on all your purchases if you want to just help out with the cause support the channel link for the PayPal is in the description down below as well if you absolutely cannot support the channel financially no worries all good trust me no hard feels um, you're still helping out in the long run by simply clicking that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, make sure you select all so you never miss an upload, which doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. If you're new here, of course, and of course, liking and sharing my videos so more eyes can be on the channel. Since teamwork makes a dream work, you best believe I cannot be picked up on the YouTube algorithm without y'all, and I recognize, and I think I nailed everything, guys. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. God bless our troops.